Hi, I'm Soumya with Desi Plaza, and I'm here with Alauddin, who is one of the directors, and I believe you're also in the film from Bengal, from Bangladesh to Harlem. Yeah, it's for, the film is called um, From um, In Search of Bengali Harlem. And uh, yeah, I, I started out as a comedian just telling jokes. And when I sort of graduated to uh, doing parts on film, I became extremely frustrated with the lack of really good roles. And so I wanted to do something besides the stereotype. And, uh, you know, I left Hollywood because there were casting directors telling me, well, we only see South Asians as this way. So I felt when I came back to New York, I wanted to do a documentary about my father. And with the help of Vivek Ball, we set out to sort of explore who my dad was, and we accidentally came upon this lost history of men who came uh, in the beginning of the 20th century with literally nothing and started what is now the Indian culinary restaurant business. So these men who were dishwashers, they ended up you know, starting their businesses and setting up shop in Harlem. And some of them you know, married African-American and Puerto Rican women. And it was like this utopia. And it was kind of gone, but I remembered the remnants of it. So I wanted to sort of create a film that showed this utopia of a world where there was solidarity and, and these men who found love and success in a world that at the time, America really didn't even want them because there were exclusionary laws. Yeah. So I, you know, I thought it was kind of interesting because as a comedian, if I go to a laundromat and I run out of change, I get frustrated. But yet these men who couldn't speak English came and basically went from dishwashers to entrepreneurs. And that's such a magical story. I felt like we owed it to that generation to make a film about them. So, I mean, there is comedy, but the film is really an emotional journey to really discover who they are. And for me, the funniest is when I go back to Bangladesh, for me as a New Yorker, I have, have not gone back there in decades. So that was also an emotional journey as well. So I think the film really is like two films. In the beginning, it's the hunt and the investigation of who were these men. And in the second half, it's me going back to Bangladesh yes. to kind of find my roots. Yes. And that was an adventure for me to go back to Bangladesh. I'm about as Bengali as SpongeBob. So it was so, it was interesting for me to go back. Yeah. So He lives in a pineapple. <laughs> yeah, so 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 the film is kind of that journey of me going back and finding out who the who these people were. Yeah. And, and I I was probably the person least likely to make a film about this because I I never really found an allegiance to that to that generation. I was going to ask um cuz I think as we grow older we develop a different understanding or sense of maybe the journey our yeah. parents went through. Yeah. What inspired you to like why now like what well i think because you know when i started about 20 years ago i was always doing you know if you needed someone to do it with an accent they would hire me and i just felt after a while i was just playing my father but i really didn't know my father so i didn't want to just do the accent i wanted to really know who these men were so and also as i got older i was curious like how did my mom and my father navigate a world where they couldn't speak english and they didn't know the culture i was very curious in, in how they survived so we may know our parents but when we really dig in deep and do research you realize like we don't really know who they are until we you know investigate and find out their past absolutely to that to that effect how has your sense of your parents changed after the film and after this journey well i think you know gratitude i think i have a deeper appreciation of them instead of you know being silly i, I realize you know what they had to endure what that generation had to endure we have no idea what our parents and grandparents what life in america was like because you know we're spoiled we're americans so to think that they actually had a dream and they were able to fulfill that dream i mean like my parents talk about working seven days a week if I work two days in a row, I need a vacation. So, you know, that, that work ethic comes from a place of just that tenacity. And, you know, I, I just feel like they really needed to be honored because that generation is almost forgotten because we see them in the distance, but we realize we're running from them, but they're really closer to us than we really yeah. we acknowledge. And very much like the resiliency of why we're all here. Um, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, I, I believe that's the magic of the film is that it comes full circle because we can run all we want from our parents, but we realize that our parents are connected to us. That umbilical cord never leaves, no matter how American you think you are. I, I understand that. Yes.